Hello and welcome back to my channel. I have been dying for the past week. Um, if you guys don't follow me on Twitter, I feel like I update you guys a lot on Twitter with what's going on just because it's easy, 140 characters, but I think you can use it more than 140 characters now. But anyways, I have no idea how I got sick. Beebs thinks that I got sick from being in the hospital. Um, I got sick, then Tiny got sick, my cousin, and then Beebs got sick, and then my aunt got sick, and now my mom is sick. So. It sucked. I covered it pretty good today, but I have the biggest scab on my nose from just like the runniest nose, the driest nose, the stuffiest nose, blowing my nose like a bajillion times. Every time I get sick, it always happens to my nose. I feel so bad for it, but hopefully, hopefully it looks okay. I'm gonna try to stay far away from the camera. Of course I get sick when I uh, wanna film YouTube videos. Like I could not even get out of bed. I have no idea where the sickness came from, like I said. I do usually get sick like because I travel so much, but it definitely was not a travel sickness. That is usually just like a day or so. This was like a week of being in bed. So I still feel like a little sick, but not as bad. Like I can get up and move around and the lights aren't bothering me. I did try to film on Saturday or something, but I came back here and sat and I couldn't even open my eyes because I was just like so sensitive to everything But today is a lot better. So that makes me happy um, Also, a lot of you have been asking how my grandma is via Twitter and I appreciate it so many DMS have come through I've read them all and you guys are just so encouraging Unfortunately, she still is in the hospital. It's going on two weeks now and I just feel like she's not even getting better It's like almost I don't know. So yeah, I don't have any like great updates for you guys. Love you have been asking me to keep you posted. So, so far she's still in the hospital and it sucks a lot. I have not picked the winners yet for the mystery boxes because there were so many comments. I will have them listed in probably this video. This is going up today. Today is Monday. You guys are going to see it. So hopefully by tomorrow, if you check back on this video, I will have the winners listed. I just like to reach out to them before I list them. I don't know. I just like to do it that way. So I haven't had the chance. So I haven't had a chance to email them. So once I do, I will put the winners in both the original video, which was, what was it? Just like a chit chat life update video. I'll put the winners in that video and then I'll put them in this video as well tomorrow just in case, you know, just, I don't know. I'm gonna put them in both videos. And I'm also gonna give away two mystery boxes in this video as well. Again, all you have to do is leave me a comment, give the video a like, make sure you're subscribed, and if you guys are comfortable to leave your email address, I do appreciate it. It just makes it easier for me to get in contact with you. A lot of you guys seem to leave your email address, which I am very grateful for. So there's going to be two more boxes given away in this video. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, I put together these massive mystery boxes that are basically 12 to 15 pounds of makeup that I'm giving to you guys. So if you want to enter to win one, just be subscribed, like this video, and leave me a comment. So today's video is just going to be a quick video on how I maintain my silver color. This is going to be great for anybody that has kind of a fashion funky color in their hair because even though I'm going to be showing you products that are specific for silver gray hair, all the products that I'm mentioning have them in like basically every single color. So whatever color your hair is, these products come in that shade, which is really cool. I am so feeling the gray hair way more than the purple hair don't get me wrong I love the purple hair more towards the end when it kind of had like that whole ombre vibe going on um, and I like the gray hair a lot more because it's still like a weird hair color to me but it's not like a in your face hair color if that makes sense to you guys so I feel like I'll be keeping the gray for a longer time than I kept the purple I kept the purple I had the purple since November so I had it for a while. I went gray probably like two weeks ago now. And the cool thing was is they didn't have to bleach my hair again. Because you know when I originally got my hair colored, they platinum carded me, which they basically bleached my whole entire head. Um, I didn't have to do that this time, thank God, because I was still light underneath the purple. So they just used a color remover on my hair to strip the purple out of it. And then we just deposited color onto my hair. But I feel like if I wanted to be like a lighter silver color instead of like this gray color that they would probably have to bleach me again so that's why I feel like I'm gonna stick with this so the current color of my hair is from Paul Mitchell and it is the pop XG this is a vibrant semi permanent hair color and it is in the shade steel I have colored my hair twice already when I first get my hair colored 
they will usually send me home with a tube of this, which they don't normally do. This is usually for professional use only. I hope that they don't get in trouble because they send me home with one, but they know that I can handle my own. Since I had bleached hair, my hair is like very porous, which means that color doesn't like stick to it. If you have damaged hair, it's harder for the color to stay in your hair. If you have healthy hair, you don't have to worry about these things. But usually when you have bleached hair, it is porous, meaning that it's like open. Um, so I like to put color on my hair before I shower the first couple of times. So I have done it twice. What I usually do before I jump into the shower is I apply this on my hair, mainly on my natural hair. The extensions really don't need it because the extensions aren't porous. They're not damaged their healthy hair so the extensions really don't need it i mainly just do it here like at my root because this is where the color likes to fade the most and then i do it on my ends just to really lock the color in if you can't get your hands on the pop xg you can totally go for arctic fox this is in the color sterling this is what i used on my hair this morning uh this is fresh washed hair and i have no complaints with this either it is vegan it smells really good it is a semi-permanent color as well there is no peroxide no ammonia and it has added conditioners in it as well, which I like. The shampoo that I usually use, I've been using forever and ever and ever. I've talked about it here before. It is from Redken. It is the pink one. I get it from Ulta. I don't have it on hand because Jeremy's in the shower right now, um, but I'll insert a picture either here or here. Not sure where it's gonna be, but you can find them at Ulta, and I swear to Bob, they are always on sale, like buy one, get one free. So I always get the big ones because I have a lot of hair to wash. It is mostly extensions, but I got a lot of hair to wash. So that is the shampoo that I use. It is safe for color treated hair. And then the conditioner wise, I use a silver conditioner. So I have a few here that I use, and when I had purple hair, this was the exact conditioner that I use. I out of them, so I didn't wanna show you guys, but just know that they were the exact ones. They were just for purple hair. So the first ones that I use are from viral and this one is the conditioner which I like to use on the regular and then this one is a silver color wash so this one is like you can put color in your hair when you feel like it's fading um, you can do this color wash in your hair instead of using like this or the pop XG on your hair if you feel like your color is getting a little dull or you just want it to be like a little more vibrant this color wash is great for in color in shower coloring. Um, both of these are in the shade silver. And then this one I use when I just use a regular shampoo. This one I don't love, love, love. I wish it was a little more conditioning on the hair, but it does give a good silver color without any of like the blue or purple like tones that some kind of silver shampoos can give to your hair. But my favorite conditioner that I have found is from Overtone. And like I said, when I had purple hair, I was using the Overtone as well. Um, so these are color conditioners. I have one in pastel silver and another one in vibrant silver. And I believe they even have a darker silver. You can use these on either wet or dry hair. I've only tried them on my wet hair because I just use them as my conditioner. So I'm constantly depositing color into my hair when I'm washing because one, when you have colored hair, you're supposed to take like cold showers because that just helps to kind of lock the color into your hair more. But girl, ain't nobody got time for cold showers, okay? I like my showers hot. So this really, really helps. Um, it also has like a really nice minty flavor minty flavor. It also has a really nice minty scent and uh, I like the conditioning factor on this overtone conditioner way more than the viral conditioner but I still feel like they're both a good go. Like I said I just wish the other one which is like a little more conditioning. With this one as well there's no like weird blue or purple tones that you can get if you are using like a silver shampoo conditioner. So that's mainly what I do. Okay so if you have colored hair dry shampoos are going to be your best friend because you honestly do not want to be washing your hair that much. You probably want to wash your hair once a week if you can get away with it. I really only like to wash my hair once a week. Like I said, it doesn't mean that I'm not showering, guys. It just means I'm not washing my hair. I always feel the need to say that because people still are like, wait, what? You only wash your hair once a week? Yes. And the purpose for that is because one, my hair needs all those natural oils because it has been put through the wringer, so I want it to get all its natural nutrients that it can. And two, when you have a fashion color in your hair, it just is not great for you to be washing it all the time because you're just gonna see your beautiful color like running down the drain. Every time I'm washing my hair in the shower, I'm like, is my hair still gray? 
it's still gray. But I will say though, with the gray hair, I find that it doesn't really run as much as the purple did, which I appreciate very, very much. So for dry shampoos, I am on the Paul Mitchell Sugar Dry Cleanse and the Sugar Dry Conditioner. So dry shampoo, we all know how to use dry shampoo, right? If someone's watching and you don't, I'm gonna give you a quick lesson on how to use dry shampoo. So you wanna shake up your dry shampoo bottle really, 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 really good to where you can't really feel like any liquid rolling around in there because you want it to be really powdery when it comes out. You're gonna hold it like six to 10 inches away. You're gonna spray mainly all your root areas. You're gonna flip your hair, get in there. And what I like to do is really just work it in with my hands to kind of eliminate any of the dry cast. And I feel like that's what really kind of helps the dry shampoo lock in as if like you just kind of mushing it around in there. Like you don't wanna just spray it on your hair and just like go, cause I feel like it doesn't really do anything that way. Um, so dry shampoo, BFF, and then dry conditioner, you're gonna wanna use on the ends of your hair because you wanna lock in a little bit of moisture because the ends of your hair get the driest because they don't get the oil from your scalp. So the dry conditioner really helps in those in-between days when I'm not washing my hair to still give it a little boost of condition without having to wash and condition and like all that jazz. So dry shampoo, dry conditioner, best friends forever. And then I quickly wanna talk about the extensions that I'm wearing, because I feel like I still get a lot of questions on my hair. I've been wearing hair extensions for probably 10 years now. I've done everything. I've done sew-ins, clip-ins, tape-ins, bonded in. I've glued my hair in. Is that all the ones that we can do? I think so. I've done them. So my current favorite are actually bonded in hair extensions. I'm currently wearing the Great Lengths hair extensions and I have them in, in 24 inches. They were dyed this color. I'm currently not sure how many bundles I have in my hair. I think I either have seven or eight bundles. I think seven because I think I had eight and then I left one behind that we didn't put in my hair. They are bonded in hair extensions, so that means they are individually placed in my hair one at a time. I used to wear tape in extensions all the time, but tape in extensions to me were just really, really heavy. If you have tape in extensions or if you've ever used tape in extensions, the thing that sucks the most to me about tape ins is washing your hair. One, you can't really like get in there and like scrub your head. With these you can because you know there's plenty of room to like put your fingers like up through your hair. And two is they felt so heavy. There was like so much weight to tape and extensions. The pro side of tape and extensions is you get a ton of hair and they put it in really, really fast. I don't think you can get the thickness with these bonds as you can with tape and extensions. So you have to kind of think of like what you want more out of your hair. For me, I want it to be like comfortable and still look really good. Like I can make this hair like this big if I want it to, you know what I mean? Um, and it's still super lightweight on my head, which I love. When I go to wash my hair with these, it's like I don't even have extensions in. The thing that takes a long time is drying the extensions. I probably will dry my hair for like 30 minutes or so and that's with the Dyson that kind of cuts down on drying time so I could only imagine if I was using like a real hair dryer. So uh, blow drying the hair is kind of like the only thing that I'm like Ugh, I gotta blow dry my hair but it looks so good like after you blow dry it so it's not a problem. You can wear these Great Lakes extensions for I think it's like three to five months. We decided for me I should probably only wear mine for like three to four months at the most because for some reason I don't know if I'm a wild sleeper or wet but my hair tends to get matted so we're trying to avoid that even with like taping extensions I'd always get like a little bit of like matting right here and it's just like uncomfortable even though I brush my hair every single day like a million times a day which you do have to especially with hair extensions and you want to get like this is a marula brush but you want to like drag it across your bonds um, because you can get matting with any type of hair extension like that's like permanently like in your head because you lose a hundred hairs a day and when you have like bonds like this the hairs don't really have anywhere to go so sometimes it can cause a little bit of matting I just want to give you guys like all the details just in case you were like thinking about getting any type of like extension that you don't take out at the end of the night. I feel like the best type of extension is a clip and hair extension because you can just take those things out at the end of the night and go on with your life. But for me, because of like traveling and like doing so much, like clip ins just like weren't working with my lifestyle anymore. So that's why I went the more kind of permanent route, starting with tape ins and then eventually moving on to bonded in extensions. And I don't think that I would ever do like any kind of other extension. The only ones I really haven't tried are like the hand tied extensions, but they still kind of seem a little so in it to me. And if feels like it'd be heavy like it looks like just like one big weft um so I like the weightlessness of the bonded and hair extensions and that's why I feel like I won't use any other extension ever again I don't know if you guys are the same way but when I am sick I sweat so much and I'm dying so I have got to go I got to turn these lights off I got to get out of here so that is it for me I will have a, another video for you guys this week so remember there is a giveaway happening in this video and I will announce well not announce I'll just have them listed the winners for the last 
mystery box giveaway, the five winners. I will have them listed in that video and this video tomorrow, so make sure you check back. And also, there's another chance to win two more boxes. I love you guys, and I will see you soon.